Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to some of you. I greet each and every one of you that might have time to join me today, the 18th December 2020. And as I am broadcasting in so many platforms, so I believe that there are people who do not uh, 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 understand the meaning of this flag behind me and i have to take one or two minutes time to uh, explain to them what the meaning of what we are doing or what we stand for first of all my name is mazi innocent in kendalim emmanuel a member of ipob and a bona fide active member as well so i'm going to start first of all to introduce to you behind the camera this flag that you're seeing here the meaning of this flag this flag represents the flag of the indigenous people of afra in the eastern in the old eastern region of nigeria today so we the indigenous people of afra we are fighting for the total uh, freedom of our people because of the uh, so many brutality and unjust uh, 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 treatment that we've been receiving from the Nigerian government. So what we are doing is what we call media war. And this media war is a thing that we must put hands together to make sure that we bring the notice of what is going on in Nigeria to our people so that they can be able to understand whatever what, what, what exactly that is going and today we are going to dab into what i call education or information to inform some of the people who don't have the idea of what we're doing more especially people who are living in nigeria because in nigeria today there are people who are living in a remote areas these places they don't have idea of what is going on so it is very very easy for them to be manipulated by the nigerian politics so this is why on the screen you can see i say this one thing is certain in a freedom fighting one thing is certain that there are people that need to be educated or informed of what is going on in that country and Nigeria is no exception. Nigeria is no different. Why did I say that? Now, in the eastern region of Nigeria, which is Biafra, we have launched our, uh, our security outfit called Eastern uh, Security Network. You can go and Google it. Eastern Security Network. And this Eastern Security Network is there to protect the lives and property of the people so that people cannot be scared going to farm. Because before now, our people cannot be able to go to farm. Before now, our girls cannot be able to walk freely on the street without being, more, uh, 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 without being intimidated or Mahandu by the uh, um, uh, uh, that by the uh, military or by the police or even by the full and headsmen or by bandits no matter how you choose to call it you know that Nigeria is in, in the brink of breakup today and the whole world know this but it is our duty to make sure that we bring this to the attention and to always cry because whenever we cry people must hear what we are doing people must hear what we, what we are doing so a lot of people are calling for the justice for the fallen heroes a lot of people have for calling for the uh, 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 justice for those with one hand for those people who their hands were cut off by the Fulani headsmen you know what i'm saying now they are calling for justice a lot of people are calling for justice for those of people who got raped by these Fulani headsmen in their farmlands. Our mother cannot be able to go to farms. 
You understand what I'm saying now? Our mothers cannot be able to go to farm because of what is going on. Because the Fulani headsman has taken control over our land. You understand what I'm saying now? This is the one of the reasons why the Eastern Security Network was created to secure the life and property so that our mothers and sisters can be able to go to farm and able to find what we can be able to eat. You understand what I'm saying now? So, this justice that people are calling from, the only place or the only time for you to get this true justice is by supporting the total disintegration. I repeat, the only way that you can get the justice of the people who have died, unarmed protesters who have died, the only time or when will you get, when you're going to get the justice for the people, their hands have been chopped off by the Fulani terrorists. The only time that you can get justice for our mothers who have been raped by these Fulani headsmen is by supporting the indigenous people of Afra, supporting the Nigerian youth. You know what I'm saying now? To do what? To disintegrate Nigeria as it stands today. This is the only way. This is the only way. And why doing that? We need to also tell our brothers and sisters who are in Odurua that they need to tighten up their security. Their security need to be tightened up. Because if their security is not tightened up, it's going to affect us. It's going to affect us deeply. You have heard Mazen Nam Dekano on so many times say that if Biafra is success, but the neighboring country are not success enough, it's going to be a big burden to us. You know what I'm saying now? And this is the, the moment we are in right now is a moment that everybody must put hands on the decks. Moment of security. The insecurity in Nigeria today is overwhelming. You also can agree with me that three weeks ago, three weeks ago, the Federal Republic of Nigeria announced that, that the borders in the Nigeria, the land borders in Nigeria will be reopened soon. You understand what I'm saying now? Will be reopened soon. Particularly, Semeboda was one of them. And Semeboda was opened yesterday. Semeboda, which is in the Benin Republic. Benin Republic is being controlled by the Nigerian government. Benin Republic is being controlled by the Nigerian government. Why do I say that? If most of you who are in the IPOB, following conversant uh, uh, broadcasts that our leader made, you will hear one day that a brother who is a family member called from Semi border and complained that we they cannot be able to get a clearance from the Semi from the Benin Republic. You know what I'm saying now? Why is that? It is because Nigeria is controlling Semi border. Nigeria is is controlling Benin Republic. You know what I'm saying now? So this is the same reason and. Opening semi border and the other part of the uh, uh, borders right now in this critical moment. In this critical moment, it's what for them to able to invite the Fulani ginger weed from the Togo, Fulani ginger weed from the north northern Ghana, the Fulani ginger weed. They are Fulani brothers from Ivory Coast. They are Fulani brothers from 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 uh, 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 Sierra Leone. All over Africa that has a link to that ben a semi border. You know what I'm saying now? Last month, people were clamoring that the federal government should close the northern border because northern border is giving the, uh, the, 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 the Fulani access to come into Nigeria freely. So instead of them to close the northern border, they announced that the. <coughs> sorry. sorry. They announced that this the borders in Nigeria will be open soon. In this moment, 
Now, another question that you have to ask yourself, most of you who have been following the news that is going on in Nigeria, the moment the indigenous people of Alpha launch Eastern Security Network that will guide and protect the Biafra land, few days after, the elders forum, the elders forum, they ask the Fulani headsmen to return back to their ancestral home. Where is their ancestral home? The north. You understand what I'm saying now? Because the plan of Ruga has failed. The plan for Ruga has failed. They plan to use the Ruga, invite their brothers in our land, in our forest. But because that IPOB has taken it upon herself, upon herself to make sure that we secure our land by launching the Eastern Security Network. So they know that their life is in danger. So they have to use another plan, which is using the terrorist group, terrorist in a uniform, Boko Haram in a uniform pretending to be army, ISIS in West Africa in a uniform Nigerian army to pretend to be a Nigerian army, jihadists, terrorists, all of these seven terrorist groups, bandits, kidnappers, and the rest of them, they want to use them in a uniform group to do what? To intimidate us. And this is, the only, this is one of the reasons why that they have to, uh, the dead Buhari, dead, the person that is, is posing as a, as a Buhari right now, the, he went to Katsina and told Shakao, the leader of, uh, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, the leader of uh, Boko Haram, to go and kidnap children. To go and kidnap children. 400 children. You know what I'm saying now? 400 children were kidnapped. And a few days later, the children were making live video saying that nobody should worry. The governor of Borno State should not send anybody to come and rescue them. They should not send any uh, any uh, helicopter to fly over to search for them. That they shouldn't worry. That they shouldn't worry that they are okay. And when you look behind the camera, you will see children of that same age holding AK-47. The same age of children that are being kidnapped in Katsina State holding AK-47 with their faces covered. What are going? To, what are they going to do? They want to. Prepare those children for war. You know what I'm saying now? Because they know and they have seen it. The whole Nigerians have seen it that the security personnel, security personnel in Nigeria are beginning to resign. You know what I'm saying now? Security in Nigeria, both uh, 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 police, army, whatever I have you, have beginning to resign to join the people's movement. You know what I'm saying now? And now, the forces that you have against Nigeria right now is three forces. I'm talking about the good guys. I'm not talking about the terrorist group. Whatever that Boko Haram is trying to achieve, they, are, they want to achieve it in the benefit of the northern people in Nigeria. Because in the northern Nigeria, it's ruled by Sharia. In northern Nigeria, is ruled by Sharia. And in northern Nigeria, you have a lot of Christians in there. So they want to make sure that they intimidate everybody to bring to, to make them to concur into their Islamic region, uh, uh, religion. You understand what I'm saying? This is the reason why you see so many killings going on in the northern Nigeria. So I'm talking about the good guys, the three group guys who will fight against Nigeria. Number one, Ududu Army. Number two, People's Army. Number three, Biafran Army. I am not talking about the security uh, outfit that has been set all around the country. Because as long as I am concerned, we the indigenous people of Biafra, we have not played any card yet. What we are playing right now is to educate our people. What we are doing right now is to enlighten our people. More as well, those people who are in the villages who don't have access to the internet, who don't have access to listen to a, a, a one hour, two hours program like what we're doing. You know what I'm saying now? But our write up in the social media on the various uh, platforms that we are in, 
be it WhatsApp, be it or whatever that we are, whatever, even Signal, all those what uh, 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 write up is going to help them for us to begin to do uh, to educate them. Because as I'm speaking to you right now, there are people who are taking points of what I'm doing and sending it to their groups. You know what I'm saying now? So it is very, very important that we make sure we educate them for people to get this justice that they are crying for. A lot of people have died in this struggle. A lot of Biafrans have died in this struggle. But we never give up. We keep on educating the people. We keep on educating them. We keep on uh, resisting whatever intimidation that is coming from the Nigerian government. So the only way that the people who their harm ants have been chopped off by this terrorist group is what? To work hard and to make sure that we work towards the direction of total disintegration of Nigeria. For people who have been raped in our farmland, our mothers, our sisters, who have been raped by this bandit, the only way that we will have this uh, uh, justice is working towards the restoration of the Afra and total disintegration of Nigeria. This is the only way. There is no other way. But in other way around, we have to also look in the other direction. What other direction are we going to look at? Now, we the indigenous people of Afra, we have our security outfit, which is filled with a lot of people, volunteers. What about our brother who is in the semi? I mean, who is in, the, in Odudua? Their security is, there's a leakage in their security. There is a leakage in their, in, the, in, the, in, the, in their security. What do I mean by that? For example, in semi, they need to put a strategy in all the uh, you know in all the uh, uh, Yoruba land, in all the uh, Oduduwa land, to make sure that they secure everything securable. Because if they don't do that, these people will do what they will make sure that they inflate uh, 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 they inflate a uh, 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 pain. They inflict pain on us. So we must educate them. We must allow them to do their job. We must allow them to do their job. We must not interfere in whatever they are doing, but we also allow to advise them. We are also allowed to advise them. So like I said, you know, do the one land, Omoteku is not, it's not circulated in the whole of uh, uh, Oduduwa land. It's not circulated. Unlike in the Eastern region, of Nigeria, which is Biafra. <coughs> Excuse me. Unlike the eastern region in the Biafra land, we all have, we have now sure that our life and property is secure. But once there is a, a leakage, once there is a leakage in any neighboring country to be in the future, like Odudua, then we have a problem. Then we have a problem. It is very, very important for us because if there is any security leakage, it will affect us, the Biafrans. It will affect us, the Biafrans. Like I said, three weeks ago, it was announced by the Federal Republic of Nigeria that the land borders, land borders may be reopened. May be reopened. And yesterday, people were celebrating. People were jubilating that the semi-border had been opened. You know what I'm saying now? So, semi border being open, this is to tell you that the people who are de who are going to triple into semi border is what? The Fulani who are living in Togo. The Fulani who are living in Beni, Beni, Beni Republic. The Fulani who are living in the northern uh, 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 Ghana. The Fulani who are living in, in Ivory Coast. These are the people who will troop in from semi border. So, our counterpart to do the wars. They must uh, 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 rise up to the game and make sure that they protect the life and property because it is very, very important. It is very, very important that they do so. If they don't do so, then we have a problem. As we can now give up, open and down no way secure their land. A man, I ain't win a problem, and they ain't win a problem. Okay, you can't subo. Okay, yes, so bu no open I ain't way problem. I ain't way problem, okay, well, okay, yes, bon so 
You see what I'm saying now? But if every corner is secure, if every corner is secure, there is no way they can troop in. Odudu wa is meant to be a, 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 a vigilante that will protect the Odudu wa land permanently. The, uh, the, the Eastern Security Network is a vigilante to protect the Eastern region, which is Biafra land, permanently. Eastern Security Network is not a Biafra uh, army. Oduduwa is not a Biafra army. It is just a vigilante. And vigilante protect the community that they are appointed or residing. You understand what I'm saying now? Not the army. So these vigilantes from the Oduduwa, they must put their things together. Because if they don't do that, it's going to affect us. Okay, now you show Open a family, okay, now you show I'm telling you, okay, now okay, you show me. In Oduduwa land, the whole land, the whole, the whole, the whole land is not circulated by the Amotekun. And that is just the fact. 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 I'm going to play. Uh, 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 I'm going to play a, a, a video. I'm going to. I'm going to play. But let me try if I can get the why we're going. I'm going to play a clip to to do what to 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 prove to you that in Oduduwa land is not secure. More especially in Oyo. In Oyo, where uh, 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 Governor Seyi Makinde, you can go and Google it. Governor Seyi Makinde, there is a leakage in that in that in that area. There is a leakage in uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, in, uh, in um. There is a leakage in uh, in uh, in uh, in, uh, in Seme border. There is a leakage all over the place. We we are secured. We are secured. There is no two ways about it. There is no there is no two ways about it. We are secured, and being secure. Our brothers and sisters need to be secure as well. You see what I'm saying now? Our brothers and sisters, they need to be secure. Because if they are not secure, <laughs> we have a problem. This is a live presentation. And today is the 18th December 2020. Right now, we are broadcasting in so many platforms. Different uh, Facebook page, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, 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 just name it. Just to make sure that we bring this gospel for the people to be able to understand, and even this on international community for them to be able to international community for them to be able to to be able to understand what we are doing, because it's very very important. It is 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 very very important. So, like I said, three weeks ago, the federal government of Nigeria has announced that the the land borders in Nigeria will be open soon and of course it has taking place what are they, what are they going to do those borders that have been open what are they going to do they are going to invite they are going to invite their brothers and sisters they are going to invite their brothers and sisters to make sure that they start killing anything i mean anything that they can lay their hands on starting from yoruba land you know what i'm saying now Starting from Yoruba land, there is a leakage there. There is a leakage there, and it is our responsibility to make sure that we bring this to their notice for them to be able to control their territory and make sure that security in their territory is very tight and secure. So this program is not just for our, our people, we the indigenous people of Afra, but also, but also the uh, the 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 the, the Odudua people. You know what I'm saying now? This message is not just for us, the indigenous people of the Afra, but also the Odudua people. Odudua people. They also need to listen to this broadcast. These days, our leader don't come online as he, as he used to be. Because a lot of people are, 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 are focusing on that direction. But the man has worked so much. So right now, we spread our message. So the best of the thing that you can do is to make sure that most of the people who are bringing good things in the table for you to make sure that you follow and share their program and then also invite people to do what? To uh, participate 
in the in their program to participate in their program the land borders in nigeria has been opened why now why now the whole nigerians are asking the federal government to do what to close the northern borders because it gives free access to Fulanis to come in our land and now they have opened the whole border so this is tell you that that promise that promise the promise is that Muhammad Buhari in January 2020 he promised that all the borders in Nigeria will be open for all Africa you know what I'm saying now that all the borders in Nigeria will be open for all Africans in order to attract more investors in order to improve the economy you and I know that the economy of Nigeria is not improved but what have I increased increase all this why is killings insecurity you know what I'm saying now insecurity has increased on a daily basis this is slide presentation and you're talking to Mazi Innocent in Kendelmi Manuel a bona fide IPOB member and we're here to bring the gospel of the truth so that the people can be able to understand whatever is going on. More especially, our brothers and sisters, our mothers, our grandmothers, our grandfathers who are in the villages, who don't even know what is going on, who don't have the access to listen to 30 minutes, 20 minutes, one hour program like we are doing. You know what I'm saying now? But whenever they have a, a little data to go online to listen to what is going on they the kind of news that they barge into is the kind of news that all of these saboteurs like Ralph was leak a five minutes program or ten minutes program or I started to go about five minutes program ten minutes program you understand because they will spend money to boost it so for, 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 for to, to be able to 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 they don't even want to spend a lot of money to boost that program that their five minutes clip person who called himself or people who call themselves the leader of a people. You understand what I'm saying now? They claim to be leader of a people, a certain people. But you just spend only 10 minutes, 5 minutes to, 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 to talk to your people. You understand? So they will do those programs in order to benefit and to convince, to let their masters. They are with them. This is number one. Another thing, they will spend so much money to boost it. To boost it so that our mothers, our brothers, our grandfathers, who maybe once in a while they go to online to see what is going on, the first thing that will flash into their screen is what five minutes, ten minutes program or people like Owazurike or uh, Asari Dokobo. These are the kind of message messages that will flash into their listen. So when they listen to it, you'll be hearing somebody talking rubbish and the other saying that one or few people might be raped one or two people might be killed and the rest of them you know what i'm saying now i want us to, to have a rethink so uh, right now as i'm talking there are people who are taking points sending it to their platform sharing this message so that other people can be able to get it you know what i'm saying now because good thing doesn't come easy good things doesn't come easy so like i said three weeks ago Nigerian government announced the reopen of land border in Nigeria in this critical moment. And also, the elders forum asked the Fulanis who are residing in the eastern region of Nigeria to return back home to wear their uniform. They asked them to return back home to put on the military uniform, to put on the official uniform. Why they are putting on their uni uh, military uniform why they are busy kidnapping children in Katina State and other 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 schools that we don't even know about. As I'm speaking to you right now, as I'm speaking to you right now, they have now beginning to go school by school to do what? To kidnap people. Because if you listen to that broadcast, that the video that the people, 400 children that were kidnapped, they were saying, they were speaking in house and saying that. You I can hear Elsa, Naji Hausa, Naji Hausa Susi, Naji Hausa, Munji Abn Sukapata. One man yaran and the uh, 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 Mutani uh, Boko Haran Suka kidnap. One man yaran nung Suka Suka che a video way, Kerkudamu, Governor Bornuste Kerkadamu, Kerkadamu, 
kadena tura jirgin sama kadena tura sojoji so 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 you respect the name na ji i hear exactly what they said in that time, and i watched it you know what I'm saying now? I watched it. What did they say? The children who are speaking, boy, he's speaking now, and he translates some in, in English. He said, the Burundi governor should not bother to send soldiers, to send helicopters to come and rescue them. You know what I'm saying now? They should not. And when you look behind the camera, the children who did that kidnapping are even at the age. Or let's say the people, the children, you can see some children behind the camera if you watch this video I'm talking about. If you watch this video I'm talking about, you can see some children behind the camera holding a gun of the same age. So, why the elders call off their brothers in the eastern region to come back home to come and put on the official uniform? If you don't know, let me tell you. If you don't know, let me tell you. If you are not going there, I want you to reason. So, most of you should stop uh, uh, shouting that kidnap, they kidnap children. They, it's not a... Even in that video, that boy, he said that he should he was speaking it in english he said that uh, 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 the, the the whole school that the government should close the whole school what does that tell you what it means that they're not beginning now to go to school by school and kidnap more children to train them to train them how to shoot you know what i'm saying now to train them how to kill so this is just the fact so they call their brother who are living in the eastern region to come back home to put on the official uniform and they open the border of the whole nigeria in order to do what to invite their brothers who are in togo if you google it find it there are fulanis in togo there are fulanis in Benin republic there are fulanis in uh, in ivory coast there are fulanis in a, 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 in a northern part of Ghana. This country that I just mentioned is the country, African country that have access to Seme border. I don't want you to get this point very well. This country that I mentioned is country that have access to Seme border, and Seme border is controlled by Nigeria. Uh, 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 Benin Republic is controlled by Nigeria. Because if the uh, 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 Republic is not controlled by, by Nigeria, why would indigenous people of Afra wanted to host a protest, but they could not be able to get a clearance from the government? They work, they pay their tax. You know what I'm saying now? They work, they pay their tax. So when their right is being violated in a, resp in a respective of their country they also have the right to go to the authority and say we want a clearance for us to do what to able to protest against the killings of our brothers and sisters in nigeria being killed by the nigerian government you are residing there you have a document you know what i'm saying now you have a document you work you pay your tax you do everything as a legal immigrant who are living in Benin Republic. But when it's come to the time that the government needs to support you, <laughs> they say no, they cannot support you. This is to tell you that Nigeria is controlling semi border. This is to tell you that once Nigeria is controlling semi border, that gives them the upper hand that all these countries that I mentioned, Togo, uh, uh, northern, not, northern Ghana, that is Ghana, Ivory Coast, and they will eventually pass through Benin Republic without any problem. They will pass through Semi border without any problem. And while they are coming, they will be armed. They will be armed. Why they are coming, they will be armed. Anything that stops their way, they will kill that thing. Anything that stops their way, they will kill that thing. So this is the reason why that we must advise our brothers in Oduduwal to make sure that they secure the whole of Oduduwa land, including borders. You know what I'm saying now? Including borders. So that when the war starts, when the war starts, <laughs> the Oduduwa vigilante will be in Oduduwa land. 
Eastern Security Network will be in, in, a, in a Biafra land permanently. Why the army of Duduwa, army of Biafra, and the army of the people, those people who are resigned from the military, those people who resigned from the police, those people who resigned from the navy, those people who resigned from the Nigerian Air Force, which is the People's Army, People's Revolutionary Army, they will fight side by side with Oduduwa Army and Biafran Army down to the north. So why doing that? The primary section of the security must be guaranteed. If it's not protected, then we have a problem. Then we have a problem. I ain't subu. I subu. I subu. Because the Fulani Janjaweed, they have played so many cards. They have played a card of Ruga, it failed. They have played a card of grazing, it failed. They have played a card of water bill, it failed. They have played a lot of cards, it failed. They have killed the unarmed protesters. In Lake Itoget, it failed. People are still demonstrating. They killed over 1,000 people in, in, in Obibo. It failed. You see what I'm saying now? They come to our houses, they kill us. We they failed because we determined to fight and die for what we believe in. Because without this fight, there is no way that our future generation will be free. Without this fight, there is no fucking way that our generation will be free. We cannot be free unless we fight. And this is the reason why that we're fighting. This is the reason why that we are fighting. Have you ever asked yourself why? Why are we so determined? Why are we so determined? Even a lot of discouragement have been calling from left and right for some of us to abandon this struggle. That's what I'm saying now. But because we have somebody who we are looking upon, we have somebody who has stood his ground and said, we will not give up, Biafra or death. And that person has given a lot of people hope that in Biafra land today, the rate of criminality has reduced to the level because people are now having hope and say that we have a hope. And yet when I hope, we now have a hope that there is, that, that, as in, when you have a hope, Onye, 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 as ni welun chokube. Eh? Onye welun chokube. Ago anara agwe. Onye welun chokube anago anara agwe. The rate of criminality have reduced since from uh, uh, 2015 to date. Any criminal that has been uh, 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 perpetrated is by the full and ginger weed. You understand? They are the one who is in who, who is in charge of criminality right now. No Biafran right now, no terrorists. Even in where I come from, in Oba, where I come from, I come from Oba. You know what I'm saying now? I come from Oba in the military local government area. This is where I come from. Few months ago, people from Oba they went to a, 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 a place where IPOB are having their meeting. What did they do? What did they do? They disrupt. They disrupt the uh, meeting venue. But with the command, with the command of indigenous people of Afra, Mazenam de Kano, terrorism, uh, 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 courtism was abolished in Oba. So there is no criminality in Biafra land, and we cannot condone criminality. That strength, that particular strength that you have. To, 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 to showcase or to intimidate your, own, your fellow human being. You have to use that same strength to channel it fighting the Nigeria. Because they are your problem. They are your problem. They are the ones who make sure that the people who are living in village do not have the information that they need. And it is our responsibility to make sure that we bring this to their notice. You understand what I'm saying now? It is our responsibility to bring this to their notice. If we don't do that, then we fail. You know what I'm saying now? We are failure. We are failure. 
Like I said, one thing is certain, one thing is certain that there are people, young, old, and they need to be educated on the real issue in Nigeria. They need to be educated on the real issue in Nigeria so that somebody will not come from nowhere with his five minutes broadcast to convince or to twist their mind. Somebody from nowhere will not use 10 minutes broadcast, somebody who called himself the leader of the people. How many times have you seen Mazen Nam the Kano come out with 10 minutes broadcast? Even the presidency, they released 10 minutes broadcast for over 200 million people. Over 200 million people. 10 minutes program. When have you seen Mazen Nam the Kano release 10 minutes program to speak to the public, not the executive? While you're speaking to the executive, you can use five to ten minutes program to educate them. Not to educate them, to give them instruction. You know what I'm saying now? But when you want to talk to
France living in the north to give them three uh, 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 three, 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 three months quick notice. Because, you know, Igbo man love money, as they say. We love our business. This is the only means. Because after the war, we have nothing to go back with. There's no job for us. You can't get a job after the war. You cannot get a job after the war. You understand? So we switch into business. This is in the mind of people. A lot of people were thinking that business is all about Igbos. No. No, 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 no. If you read this uh, book, uh, 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 there was a country, you will see that the apprenticeship, the people who can not be able to, to go to school, uh, they got into uh, this uh, apprenticeship. But what rather? Rather, they will send them abroad to go and learn that thing that white man is learning. You understand what I'm saying now? So, when he see that he is not relevant, IPOB have taken everything from him. He planned with the, 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 the fullness to give 90 days, which is three months ultimate, to quick notice. And in that way, he can be able to be relevant in the minds of the people who are residing in the north. Because people like Ohanes and Debo will come out. And say, no, we cannot agree with that. People like Asari Dokubo will come out and say, we cannot agree with that. It's all set up. These are all set up. Ralph Wazulike will come out and say, no. So that he will be using those people to do what? To be benefiting from Nigeria. If you also listen to the, this uh, 10 minutes program that he made, he said that if you kill any, if you kill any Fulani man, do you know how many Igbos will be killed in the north? Did you hear him or did you hear him say anything about the, the, the Igbos in the west? No, because we are now in good terms with the north. We have now educated our people in the north to, for them to know that we are not the enemy. We are not the enemy. We are not the enemy. You know what I'm saying now? Did you hear him? You can go back and listen to that clip again. It's in my page. It is in my page. I titled it, I can't wait the day uh, 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 Ralph was leaking, head will be cut off or hang in public in his village. Is it, that is the title. You can go to my page. You can go to my page right now or after the program. You watch it. You, you, the, he did not mention to say that people will be killed in the West. He said, if you touch any Fulani man in Biafra land, in the Eastern region, which he refers as Southeast. Who is talking about Southeast now? We have gone beyond that. We have gone beyond Southeast, South, South. He's referring to, he's referring to Eastern region as a, he's still dreaming. He is still dreaming. That if you touch any Fulani man, do you know how many people in how many Igbos in the north will be killed? So this is to tell you that this three months uh, uh, quick notice is a setup. And being that we are wiser than them, we say we have asked you to come back home. If you don't want to come back home and remain in the north, we cannot use because of you to jeopardize the future of other people. Is impossible. If you want to stay there and die, you stay and die. But if you come back home, once we get our Biafra, there is an international law that guarantees the safety of whatever that you have. There is, a, there is a guarantee. There is a guarantee. An international law. That guarantee, it doesn't matter. Your business is safe. Come back home. Your life is more important than that of your business. What about people who have died? What about people who have died? What about people who have they, 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 who, who they managed to kill in their farms? In their farmland? Are they going to take those farms to heaven? Are they going to do that? No, they're not going to do that. Another person will inherit that land. It's just an example. 
Another person will inherit it. And this is the reason why the Eastern Security Network is here to stay, to make sure that such nonsense does not happen again. So, if you stay in the North, thinking that the IPOB will yield because of what you have in the North, to do what? To jeopardize the struggle of the Afra, then you are dreaming. You are dreaming. You are dreaming. Like I said, when he was making that 10 minutes program, Ralph was leaked, did not mention the life of people in the West because he know we are in good terms with them. You know what I'm saying now? They now understand that our enemy is the federal government and the British. If you touch any Fulani man, do you know how many Igbos will be killed in the north? So this three months saga of quick notice is a setup for Ralph was looking to benefit from it. Organize Ndibu to benefit from it. Pandev to benefit from it. And all these uh, uh, lower Niger, southern Niger, upper Niger, down Niger, whatever Niger to benefit from it. You stop saying now. So, one thing was compel, compel a man to do unthinkable. One thing must compel a man to do unthinkable. And what compel the Fulani elders forum to ask their brothers and sisters to come back home to their ancestral land? Who gave you ancestral land? That is not ancestral land. That is not ancestral, land, but that is a topic of another day. To come back to, their, to, to the north is because one thing has forced them to do so. Like I said, one thing will force a man to do unthinkable. You understand know what I'm saying now? One thing will force a man, and we, Eastern Security Network, has forced their hand to do what? To ask their brothers and sisters to come back home. For them to put on the military uniform, officially, to come and massacre you. But no go area in Biafra land. No go area in Biafra land. Because we are secured. We are secured. But we are asking our brothers in the north, in the in the in the west to make sure that they secure their own land. So the three month saga is a is 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 a is a it is is a tactic to make them to be relevant. That's it. Especially those residing in the north. Especially those residing in the north. And he has confirmed that. He has confirmed that. He has confirmed that. And in return, in return, in return, that set up, that three months quick notice set up by Ohanez Ndibo, Raf was Like, Pandev, and whatever have you, Lower Niger, Upper Delta, Upper, 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 Upper Delta, uh, whatever Delta. In return, what will the Fulanis benefit from them? Now, let me tell you what they will benefit from them. The Fulani will benefit the total cooperation. The total cooperation with them by giving them sensitive information. By sabotaging the true agitation and the true freedom for our people. It's a planned deal. I repeat, in return, they will sabotage the true agitation and true freedom of our people. That is the reason why that even if they kill millions in Biafra land, like they did in, 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 in Obibo, because they have sold their soul to the devil, Ralph was leaker will come out and say that he supports the killing of his own people. Because he had benefited from the three month saga of quick notice. Ohanez Ndi Wenandoshi has benefited 
from the three month saga of quick notice. So, in return, in return, my brothers and sisters, you will be sabotaging your people through freedom. You'll be sabotaging the 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 the, 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 the agitation of the Afro. If people are being killed, you don't speak about it. If your mother or your sister or your auntie, even your own blood, it is called an oath of, a, a, a oath of allegiance. You won't don't speak. This is where I say in, a, in every community, uh, there, is a, there is always a fraction. There is always a fragment. Uh, that uh, one or two people uh, might be, one or two women might be raped. That does not mean that all the, all the women in Igbo land are raped. Uh, one or two people might be killed. That don't mean that all the Igbos are being killed in Igbo land. Because of what? The three months saga quick notice. It's a planned deal. In Anokwa, it is a planned deal. So help to broadcast this gospel of truth by making sure that it get to the, all these rulers areas, all the platform that our people are in, so that they can be able to get this kind of message before 10 minutes program, 5 minutes program get to them first. We don't spend money to boost our program. But people look for us. But there are people who are once in a why. Once in a why, they turn on their smartphone to see what is, is, is going on in, in social media. The first thing they will see is what? 10 minutes, 5 minutes program that was made by a man who is meant to be the leader of a people. And making that five minutes per program, you will use money to boost it. Okay, okay, boost, won't you? Okay, spend the money. They don't, these people are wicked, though. These people are wicked, though. They don't mind spending $3,000 to boost five to ten minutes program. What, what kind of a leader would do that? Spend five to ten minutes program to, to, to educate his people. So, it is very important... We spend, we take this message in every corner. If you go to the north, get If a Ghana north now, a Ghana north, Omo Aloma Jiri Anuwa, if I na go go to Anuwa, it change of no be the farmer. Farmer that na ha na lavish in lack of knowledge. Nda Anuwa nde sefa na ha na 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 nde sefa na farmer mum. The people that say that they they against of. Uh, they are against of uh, 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 Boko Haram, which is a uh, Western education. Why are they using smartphone? Is that not part of Boko Haram? Why are they using the guns that was made by that uh, 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 Haram? Uh, corrupt education. Why are they using guns? Why are they using armored cars that was made by that same people? That they say their education is haram. So stop deceiving yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. So these are the people, this message needs to go all this place. And this is the reason why we have so many platforms. Even in, 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 in IPOB, we have people who, who translate whatever we're talking about in Hausa. I don't have much followers. If I have much followers, or if I am able to get to these uh, house of people, I'll use house of house along way to, to educate them. I use house along way to educate them. Because I can speak it as well. A process of a process of a so Igbo. I want to know why I don't want to know why I don't want to know why I So like I said, in return, in return for this three month saga, they will be sabotaging the true agitation They'll be sabotaging the true freedom for our people. And we are seeing it all over the place that is happening. 
So it's a shame. It is a shame that these people can stoop so low in order to do what? To benefit for whatever they can benefit. That somebody will come out to be using code. Asari Dokobo is very good in using code to talk to his people. He's on his five minutes program. That uh, Ralph was leaky can be able to speak the 10 minutes uh, program. That he wants to use some part to, to pour out his, some jealousy that he has against Mazin Nam Dekano. That is why he can able to make it up to 10 minutes, 7 seconds are there about. 10 minutes, 7 seconds, if I'm not, yes. While Lassari Dokobo is about 5 minutes, 4 seconds or there about. It's not up to 6, six minutes. Yeah. It's not up to six minutes. He himself is good using code. He is good in using code. He is good in using code. Confusing a lot of people. I made a program about that, uh, I think a day before yesterday, about this program. Concerning the code that he used. Somebody commented and said, you're not making sense. I said, you, can, you, you will not understand. You will not understand what is going on. You will not understand. There are some right top that when they use a code to write, some people, when they see it, they won't even understand. But there are people who will see the write-up, they will understand what is there. They can't just give you the information freely. So what we are doing in the indigenous people of Afra, in Radio Biafra, is educating not just the uh, 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 Biafrans, but also educating the entire humanity. That a judge... In the western here, in the western, I don't know where, will say that Mazen Nam de Kano is not an individual anymore. The Mazen Nam de Kano, he is an institution. This is what a judge said. That Nam de Kano is not an individual anymore, but an institution. Imagine this last broadcast that was covered both the comment, share, and the viewer by 78 million at a spot. And that program, it's only announcement. About 47 minutes, 47 minutes, not up to 48 minutes. About 47 minutes. About 47 minutes program that he made. It's all about, it all, it, that is get to that 47 minutes is because he missed us. He loved to talk to us. We love him. We enjoy him. You know what I'm saying now? Even children, little children adore him. People, when people, when my, uh, uh, my, my last son saw this uh, flag or this symbol here, whenever he saw it, he said, Nam the Kano. Chinonso. Chinonso. Okay, Chinonso. Nalalola. So, when my son is not up to three years old, even his son, so people adore him. People adore him. People adore him. People, adore him. people love him because he has proven himself worthy to be a leader. He has proven himself to be a leader. So, these kind of people like Asari Dokobo who will be using code to speak to the people, who is people with five minutes program. We are here to break it down. And we have already done that. We have already done that. If you go to my program, you will see it. I even uh, uh, capture the, uh, 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 I, I send it. I send it. I send it. You may change it in one. I send it. So, he is good using a coded, a coded, uh, 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 he's good using a coded. When he said, he said that something seriously is happening. Something seriously is about to happen. Something more serious is about to happen. What is that something seriously that is happening? The sudden emergence of Eastern Security Region. The sudden emergence of the whole Biafrans to speak with one voice. That is that thing that is happening. 
that the, in, the, in, the, in the eastern region in Biafra land, there is going to be a permanent, a permanent security vigilante. And what is that thing that is, will happen, more seriously will that will happen, is the Biafran army. You know what I'm saying now? So, there is no hiding place for any elite, which he was calling on he, on, on their political elite, accusing them that they are not doing anything about it to stop what is going on. So, he is now uh, 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 calling on, the, on their political elites, accusing them that they are not doing anything about it. What is that? About the Eastern Security Network. They are not doing anything to stop it. You know what I'm saying now? They are not doing anything to stop it. That their people are led to destruction. Who are their people? His counterparts. People like Raf was leaking. People like uh, uh, Tony, Tony Nadi. Uh, people like um, um, uh, um, Joey Ibokwe. These heavy, heavy men, people like um, uh, Wike, News and Wike, all these governors, these are his people. These are his people that he's saying that their people are led to destruction. You can go to my page, it's in my page right now as we speak. The full conversation is there. The full conversation is there. I downloaded it and I put up my own writing. You can now see it. He's there. Waf was Lique and the and the and the uh, Asari Okobo. Both of them are there. He, he said talks are here and there. Who are talks? Who are talks? Eastern security networks that comprise that come together in every rook and corner. With their introduction, you will know. Even if you don't hear the language, you hear, you, 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 whatever you hear, you must hear Ibibio, Ibibio, one, Yum, Annam, Yum. You know that these are men. Kogi, you know. But when it, you, that, that, that name, that famous name that we used to hear, Ibibio, Annam, Nka, Nka, Nna, eh. Biafra, when Biafra come, we'll enjoy you. We will enjoy. We will enjoy. But before then, we have work to do. So, who are those talks that he's saying talks here and there? Is the Eastern Security Network vigilante. You understand what I'm saying now? He said that they came by the tempest of the wings of the sea, which is the indigenous people of Biafra. The talks came by the tempest of the winds of the sea. You know what I'm saying now? The talks came by the tempest of the winds of the sea, which means Eastern Security Re uh, 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 Network came by the indigenous people of Afra. It's very, very uh, 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 um, complicated, but you have to have a high frequency of IQ to understand. Now go out, go out, go out, go out, go out, go out, brain out, go out, intact. Brain go out, intact. And then you will hear some other sentiment. You start making some sentiment, talking about full and These are to confuse some of Some people who don't have the reason. Using sentiment. And then he come back to the point. And he said, a man will always be strong when he stand with his people. Who is he referring to? He is referring to Mazim Nandekano. He is a man who will always be strong, who have united his people, and his people are with him. His people are with him. 
He said, a man will always be strong when he stands with his people. And when he has enough numbers to defend and to overcome his enemy. These are Asari Dokobo coded words. Telling to his counterparts, the political elite, that he is accusing them that they are there, they feel that there's no problem, but something is happening. And something more seriously will happen. And they are not doing anything to stop it. When they use those useless code, when I, if I see it, PCC, bring it to the light of the people for them to understand. Na nejira kukwa, apu na mara anu grama. Na nejira kukwa, apu na mara asu. Ifa anu nga inborn. Yotani ne kuna, who is that man that is with you with his people? It's a man's name the can. Who is that man that have enough numbers to overcome his enemy? Who? Is it Nigerian government that the military, police, and navy, um, um, Air Force are resigning on a multitude number. Is that the people or farmer? Is it Nigerian government that have the multitude number to overcome his enemy? Because we are their friends, we are the enemy of Nigeria. We know. So, who is that person that have the multitude number? To overcome his enemy. Is it Nigeria that the uh, 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 personnel, security personnel are resigning on daily basis? Quite a few days ago, the 19 states in the northern, they had a meeting. And people who came in to attend that meeting, retired security officers are there. Uh, AIG, two AIG are there, two generals are there, social political activists are there, religious leaders, pastors and the man, pagans, whatever you have you, they are all there to find the solution to their problem. But that meeting was scattered. What am I using this point? Those retired police, uh, security officers who had resigned from the uh, from the from the Nigerian government. So the question is, who has a multitude number? They are resigning to join the people's movement. They are going to be the people's army. They are going to be the people's army. It doesn't matter if you are from Ududuwa or from Biafra. Once you are a, a Nigerian security officer who have retired, you will go and join the people's army. So who had the multitude number? It's the IPOB have the multitude number to overcome our enemy. This is the reason why that we're asking our brothers in Ududuwa, they must, they must, Tighten up their security. Because Ududu, uh, uh, Amotekum is a primary uh, uh, secu uh, security, which is called vigilante. If you go to the north, they have it. If you come to the eastern region, we also have it. Are you in well here? So, Asari Lokobo is telling his elites, his friends, that something is happening and something more seriously is about to happen. And when a man stands with his people, he remains strong forever. And also when he has the multitude numbers to overcome his enemy. And he said that this is more sinister. This is more dangerous. This is more sinister. This is more dangerous. What is happening right now is more dangerous. What makes it more dangerous? One of the things that makes it more dangerous is because 
Mazin Namdekanu cannot come out online to speak the way he used to be. He do his work. Mazin Namdekanu also know how to do five minutes, ten minutes program with the men that matters. You know what I'm saying now? Namdekanu know how to do five minutes, ten minutes program with the men that matters. So Namdekanu is doing his own five minutes, ten minutes program. Which is instruction. You know what I'm saying now? Which is instruction with plain language that men can understand. It's very simple as ABCD. But most of you who are using, like I said, who is using coded message to educate the hotel, not all these bonfu will understand what he's trying to say. But we, when and then they kind of give you code, you don't even need to, need to give you code because we are under one umbrella, one command. We are not practicing uh, democracy. There is no democracy in IPUB. There is no democracy in IPUB. It's when Biafra is restored, then we begin to practice democracy. And at that time, you will not see Mazin Namdekanu. He's not going to be, be, be in this, uh, this politics. He'll just relax and be enjoying himself. You know what I'm saying now? So Mazin Namdekanu is doing his own uh, 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 five minutes, ten minutes program. Like uh, uh, Adam Ifulefu, who called himself leaders of the people. You know what I'm saying now? So, I was telling Okobo say that this is more sinister. It means that this is more dangerous. Because what is happening now is even more powerful than what, is, what, what has happened before. The organization, the support, with microphone, with microphone, we've been able to do what? To liberate our people. That is why I say that when the army of the Afra will be officially announced and deployed, when the army of Oduduwa will be officially announced <laughs> and deployed, when the army of People's Revolution Army will be officially announced and deployed, that is that thing that is more seriously that Asari Dokobo is talking about. The thing that is happening right now is just the replicant of what is going on around the corner. If you go to the north, they have security region. If you go to the west, they have security region. So we also we need to our own security region. But that thing that is more seriously to happen is when the army of the Afra will be officially announced and deployed, when the army of Odudua will be officially announced and deployed, when the People's Revolution Army will be announced and deployed, People like uh, 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 Dokobo Asari will be on the run. People like uh, Rafu Wazulike will be on the run. People like Joy Mokwe will be on the run. People like Aisha Buhari will be on the run. People like uh, 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 Mwike will be on the run. People like uh, 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 William Obiano will be on the run. People like uh, Mumu Oju Zokalo will be on the run. So this is why that Asari Dokobo is calling on the on 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 their political elite to do something and stop what is happening. And we are also asking our brothers in the West to tighten up their security. Make sure that the semi border is secure. Make sure that the uh, 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 all the uh, villages, all the cities in uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, in the uh, Odudua land, for example, or your or your state, which is governed by the. Uh, 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 by the uh, 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 
Say ye, say ye, uh, let me get his name. Say ye Makinde, Governor Say ye Makinde of all your state. Your state is not secure. You don't have enough uh, Amotekum. And people need to come out to volunteer. People can need to come out to volunteer. You know what I'm saying now? Because as they are planning, we also, we are planning our own. I want to plan on Kifa, I plan on Kifa. So, like I said, when the army of Biafra will be officially announced and deployed, army of Oduduwa officially announced and deployed, army of People's Revolution Army announced and deployed, Asari Dokobo will be on run. Ralph Waslike will be on the run. Joe Ibokwe will be on the run. These are heavyweight, heavyweight sabo. They will all be on the run. All of them will be on the run. So they are calling on their elite to bucking up. We are also calling on our brothers in Oduduwa to buckle up. Listen to this. Listen to this and understand what it, this is happening in Oyo. Listen. Oh. Will it justice for those people with one hand that pull and it cuts away their own? Justice. All oh, our fathers who have fallen. Will it justice for those people with one hand that pull and it cuts away their other hand? Will it justice for those who are raped in their family? Will it need the high of the government to come to us and say we need to call his attention? And today we are not leaving this place until he comes out to address yeah, so, us. Yeah. We are not leaving this place until Shehima Kinde can come out to address us. Shehima Kinde? Do you hear that? Shehima Kinde of Oyo State. Listen. Address us here. A lot of our people are falling. We need even the governor to come to our land. He can come during the campaign time. We are not anti government. We are also promoters of government. We are pro government. We want government to work. But during election time, they can come to our own Ibaraba and seek for vote. From our own lands. So Only Friday, why coming back from the farm? He was waylaid, he was angry, and gruesomely murdered like a chicken. He was put up. He wouldn't believe the people that survived because they ensured the brutality. Right now, what we are demanding is immediate deployment of Amotaku into our region. Ibarapa at this, he can go in particular. Immediate deployment of Amotaku into our region. Immediate deployment of Amotaku into our region. Immediate deployment of Amotaku into our region. Ibarapa at this, he can go in particular. You see? Immediate deployment of Amotekun. So, you see, because whatever we do, we back it up with an evidence. This is an evidence to prove to you that in Yoruba land, in Oduduwa land, it's not all is not well. So they need to tighten up their security. Thank you very much for being with me this afternoon, the 18th December 2020. I still remember Mazin Namde. 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 I still remember uh, a member of IPOB, and I hope that you are a member of IPOB too, because there is where the freedom and truth lies. Thank you very much. <laughs>